Bless the Lord, oh my soul, bless you. Hi, thanks for tuning in to another video on Armor of God. Earlier today, I shared these photos on the community post, and I remember listening to one of Father Ripperger's lectures, Levels of Spiritual Warfare. There's a link to the full lecture down in the description below, so feel free to check it out. Anyway, back to the image shared earlier, I'm going to break down what Father Ripperger said during the lecture and then trying to relate what's currently happening. I don't do this often because I try not to inject too much of my own personal opinions in the videos, but I just feel this time I want to share with you what I think, and if you disagree, that's completely fine. The culture, our culture is in a particular precarious situation. Underneath Satan, there are what we call the five generals. The five generals are the five demons that are immediately hierarchically underneath Satan, and they are the ones who execute his plans. In some cases, they call it the table, because it's basically they get to divide up certain things. The first demon under him is Baal. Baal, now, Satan actually is the demon of impurity, but Baal is a demon of impurity. His principal function is to get cultures to succumb to impurity, primarily through fornication. Once the fornication sets in, then what happens is, is that the perspective that the conjugal act is ordered towards children is lost. From that arises the idea that sex should be recreational and that and you can use it for any, you, any way you get pleasure, that's fine. Well, for the first part is rather obvious. We've seen this coming out from Hollywood where sex outside of marriage has been normalized for far too long. Doctor, my, my son has a party in seven days and uh, there's a young lady coming that he's been waiting to, he's been waiting to get with. I'd tell your son to keep his pants on during that party. Oh, yes, yes, I know. Believe me, I will be doing that. Goes without saying. But if his pants decide to come off during the party, could he have full use of his um, penis? You crazy? It is a hot bartender. Do you know how long I have been waiting to land a... My friends, I have been with many women in my day. <laughs> Lawyers, teachers, Poets. Get to the point. I have never, ever scored a hot bartender until tonight. She's really not that hot. So Ball lays the groundwork. We saw this in our own country. It was called the free love movement. They lays the groundwork. The next thing he tries to do is, although in our country he managed to pull something off that was rather extraordinary. The next thing is, is after that, as we read from St. Paul, God delivers men and women up to their lusts, and men will start to want to sleep with men and women with women. Which basically means what? Once the spirit of fornication sets in, which by the way, I don't know if you noticed, in the new rite, they removed the, from the spirit of fornication, deliver us from the litany of saints. At the very time that the free love movement gained ascendancy. What we pray for is what we get. You don't pray for it, you're not going to get it. After that, then what happens is, is the culture, the next three demons show up. The first is Asmodeus. He's the demon of homosexuality in men. Now this will be rather disturbing, so I apologize in advance. Let me start by asking this obvious question. What are the parents thinking? bringing their kids to this event and letting them see this kind of act. Seriously, what on earth are they thinking? Then there's the demon of Leviathan, which is the demon of homosexuality in men, but of the masculine kind. These are the women who are heavy on the heels, we would say. Okay. Then there is the spirit of Lilith, which is the more seductive form of female homosexuality. Forgive me for the interruption. I'd like to add a little bit more about Lilith, though. Recently, Activision Blizzard released its latest edition for the Diablo series. Diablo 4, which launched on June 6th, has become Activision's subsidiary Blizzard Entertainment's fastest-selling game ever, which broke $666 million in global sales in the span of five days. My children. 
The Lords of Hell are coming to devour our world. Salvation lies not in the light, but in you. The faith has taught you to deny your heart's desire and turned you into a prisoner within yourself. Break the chains and discover who you were meant to be. Break the chains and be beautiful in sin. Blessed Mother, save us. After those, after those have gained ascendancy in a culture, which by the way, if you look at the cultures, every single culture is pushed in this direction. Okay. So, uh, historically, not just ours, but historically, this is always the progression. Once you have fornication, you end up with contraception, and then the upshot of that is uh, homosexuality and then abortion. Balfamet is the fifth one. And he's the demon of child sacrifice, abortion. In our culture, think of this. They shot down the fornication laws. And so they delivered us into the hands of Baal. They sh then they had Roe versus Wade and delivered us into the hands of Balfamed. And then they allowed gay marriage. And so now our country politically is in the hold of the top five demons in hell other than Satan. They delivered us into their hands. That's where we're at. So for those who still doubt that there is a furious, fierce, and ferocious battle raging in the realm of the spirit between the forces of God and the forces of evil, please think about it again. Personally, I think what we can do is to lead by example, to pray for these people for their repentance, and especially for the parents who are exposing their children to this culture. I pray that they will someday see the errors of their ways. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. And I'm sorry for including this in my video again. For those of you who'd like to support our works, I left the link to the PayPal donation down in the description box below. Thank you so much in advance for your contribution. Stay healthy, stay safe, and God bless you. First of all, how does our Lord appear just before we sin, as when we are about to sin? Well, he appears as thou shalt not. He appears as the Lord on the cross. He bars the way. He says, my flesh was crucified, your flesh be crucified too. Go not this way, Christ is there. But how does Satan say or talk when we are about to sin? We don't believe those things anymore. Times have changed. Are you still a virgin? You mean you've never had a smoke of marijuana? Yes, and everybody's doing it. Don't pay attention to those doctors who tell you that it'll hurt your brain cells. You've got to live. You haven't committed adultery? Everybody's doing it now.